Last time I made this video, I did my one year update, which was on the 26th of last month. It is now the second, so that's been one, two, three, four, five, six days, right? Six or seven days, because it's 5 a.m., so I don't really count today as a day yet. Anyway, uh, I was 75.5 kilos, and today I am 74.1. I have finally started losing weight again, and so I wanted to talk a little bit about that. So in my one year video, I mentioned that I've been having a stall for months and months and months and months. So I've decided to change my eating, and I am just doing a complete low carb, almost no carb diet now. What I've found is I'm eating like for breakfast, every morning I make sure I have breakfast, and it's eggs and bacon. One jumbo egg and two thin slices of streaky bacon, I rip it into shreds, scramble it together, and eat it. So that's breakfast. Lunch, I'll have like, well, I'll make lunch and dinner together and just kind of eat it over the rest of the day. So I'll have um, like three venison meatballs and a lamb loin chop. Lamb loin chop's about that big. It's like, it's tiny. And then there's a bone in it as well, so there's not much meat, a couple bites really. And uh, so I'll grill those you know, in a George Foreman griller, and I'll work on that throughout the day, and I'll also have, like, green beans or broccoli or something, or instead of that, I might bake one piece of red cod, so I'll bake it with some butter, like, just real butter, not margarine, and some lemon pepper, salt and pepper, and then squirt some lemon juice over the top of that, and that'll be what I'll work on for the rest of the day as well. For snacks, I braved fruit for the first time yesterday, so I had an apple, and today I had a banana. Uh, I also like these pork cracklings. People think that pork cracklings are really bad for you, but they're actually not. These are a fantastic snack. If you look at the back, these are in kilojoules, so I don't know for you, you know, Americans. I don't know what the conversion is, but it has 543 kilojoules, which isn't isn't very much, I do know that. This is a 25 gram bag. I can eat this in one one go because they're poofed and you eat them and they crumble away to nothing. But they have carbs, 0 0.4 grams. Total sugar, 0, 0.0 grams. So this is a good carb-free snack. I limit myself to one a day or one every couple of days. I don't just sit there and pig out on it. Another thing that I've recently started eating as of yesterday are these low-carb bars. And this, for you New Zealanders, are you can find these in Pack and Save Countdown anywhere. Pack and Save so far is the cheapest, and they have a pretty good variety. So this was my favorite flavor, blueberry almond. I don't like dark chocolate, but this doesn't have a heavy dark chocolate flavor. It's like a crisp bar inside. This one has dark chocolate, blueberry, roasted almonds, and chia seeds in it. So this one here has... 613 kilojoules, which is 146 calories. It has 13.2 grams of protein, and it has 3.6 grams of carbs. This is only 3 grams. So the flavors that I've gotten here are blueberry almond, rocky road, which I haven't tried yet, and, and honey almond. This one's really good. And um, it varies for each one. Like this one here has 148 calories, 12.5 grams of protein, and 4.4 grams. So the Rocky Red is probably the worst one. 4.4 carbs. This one has 152 calories, 12.7, and 3.5. So this one has more calories, less protein, but um, a good amount of carbs. And then I just found these two today. I haven't tried them yet. These are... These were on reduced, they're $2 each, but they're no sugar. This is mint fudge, and this one is banana fudge. I don't know how well banana fudge will taste, but these have 395 kilojoules, which is 95 calories. It has 7.6 grams of protein, and it has 0 0.7 grams of carbs. 0 0.7. And this one here has... 95 calories or 395 kilojoules, 7.9 grams of protein, and 0 0.6 grams of carbs. Now, another new one that I tried that I'm in the middle of working on 
she wanted to savor it. Uh, the first time I've tried this was at Candy's. So this one is, it's just chocolate brownie bar. And it looks like this on the inside. I don't know if you can see. Probably not, because my camera sucks big donkey balls. Eh. Well, anyway, it looks like that on the inside. And it's very solid. I can focus again any time now. But this one, it tastes like just eating a, a caramel chocolate candy bar. I don't just see any caramel in it, but it kind of, it just doesn't taste like just a chocolate bar. It tastes like you're biting into a caramel bar, caramello or something. It's so good. This bar has 965 kilojoules or 232 calories. It has, because I've torn it, let's see. It has, son of a bitch. So I've ripped it right in the middle of the, the thingy, so I'm trying to straighten it out again so that it lines up correctly. It has 4.9 grams of protein, so not too high in protein, and 7 grams of carbs is what it looks like. But, oh, it says it has 18 grams of sugar and 3.1 grams of carbs, so I probably screwed that up. Because it's, oh yeah, there it goes. Sorry, right. so yeah, 18 grams of protein, there you go, 3.1 grams of carbs, 1.1 gram of sugar, so it's in it. So this is really good. This is the one I would suggest getting if you guys could. I actually want to try some more Atkins stuff because this one has a lot of flavor. It's really, really good. I was out and about today and I was really thirsty and I'm just real sick of water. So I tried this for the first time today as well. No. Not the first time. I've tried this when I wasn't dieting, and it was disgusting because it just was like flavored water. It had no flavor in it. Now that I've not been eating sugar, this has a lot of flavor in it. So this has 51 kilojoules. It has 0 0.4 protein and has 0 0.8 of carbs. So this is good every now and again. Um, this is probably the one and only time I'll drink it. I might have another in a couple months, but I'm not real big on that stuff. I've been mostly drinking water. I have a cup that's about, I don't know, it's about that big, a little mug, and I have one of those maybe a day of whole fat milk because the low fat and the trim milk have higher carbs than the regular milk that I have from Pack and Save, the two for five. It only has 4.6 grams of carbs. So I have one of those. And then I might have some Vita Fresh, which is like Kool-Aid, but it's um, sugar-free and that has like two grams per hundred mils or whatever. So all in all, my, my carb intake is probably around 20, I'd say. Between 20 and 50, which is very low carb. And um, I'm dropping like 500 grams a day, half a pound a day. And I don't know, I'll stand up. I'm wearing a baggy shirt, but I don't know if you can see. Uh, so, um, I can't really see in this, but um, I can't lift it up because I'm not wearing any underwear. But I, I'll put a picture up that I took today, this morning, when I was still like 200 grams heavier. And, um, like, I walked out of the house today and my wedding rings flew off my finger. Like, they just, there's just nothing that flew off. And then I put on my, my other ring, because I did, like, this awesome photo shoot today. I'll put a picture here, too, because it came out really good. And so I like put this on today and like 
there's nothing to keep it on either. Like it just it kept sliding off and I was like, son of a bitch. So all of my rings now pretty much are falling off. Like they just don't stay. They're they're like nothing anymore. Even this big one that just they all fall off. Doesn't matter what finger I put it on. Which is upsetting, but at the same time not. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to update you guys with that. Um, I'm not on any specific diet because I don't really like to cook. I don't like to put a lot of effort in. I've also had sauteed mushrooms, so that's another thing. Mushrooms are good to eat. Any green veggies, any meats, natural meats, um, green veggies, not any starchy veggies, and things like this. And the weights just, you know, what I'm planning on doing, because I'm 100. I'm 106, I'll be 160 pounds tomorrow. It's nice to be able to say that again. Like, tomorrow I'll be this, because I was doing that when I first got on the surgery. I was able to say, tomorrow I'll be, you know, 95. Tomorrow and the day after I'll be 93. And now I can kind of do that again. I can kind of see where it's going. And so tomorrow, when I wake up, I will be 93, or 73, which is amazing, because, oh, i just been on a stall for so long. My goal right now is to hit 70. Once I hit 70 kilos, that's my that's my happy goal. I'll be happy being 70 kilos, but my ideal goal will be between 60 and 65 kilos. So that might put me at about <clears throat> 135, 140 pounds. And uh, that was the weight I was after I had my son when I started losing weight again. Before I had him, I was like, I topped out at maybe 113 pounds. Um, but then I was, you know, I was like, 17 when I got pregnant, I was 18 when I had him, and um, when I had him and then started losing weight again, um, the lowest I got to was like 130, so I'd be happy being about 135, maybe, maybe 140, I just want to get rid of this tummy, because I still have this loose skin around my stomach that just ruins all my clothes, but you can see like in my face and my, my neck, like, you know, I'm... I'm, I'm losing again and it's just such a good feeling I just I can't wait to get to 70 and then I will have hit my goal and yeah it came after my one year but better late than never and so if you have any questions or you want any tips or anything I'll try to help you the best I can I'm just getting started with this myself and like I said I don't like using recipes as such I just grill up a quick little nothing and then snack on it all day and uh I'm pretty much eating continuously through the day in small amounts. Like, you know, you see I have half a bar of this and, you know, like I might have a banana <laughs> later on, have that ready and stuff. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Just be careful not to drink your calories. Watch what you're drinking and good luck. And oh, I'm so happy and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.